Hi guys, I'm Silvio. <laughs> okay, not that one guys, the one behind the camera here. And uh, welcome to the last off-season update before 2022 new season. And guys, it's official today, Sunday 15 of May. It's over. I've finished. I finally finished my pre-season work. And it was time because I spent so many hours on all my figurines. Okay, you know guys that for my new project, for my three ring circus and everything else, I wanted some figurines that uh, uh, no producers has on catalog. So I spent <laughs> weeks uh, drawing, uh, mod modeling, then 3D printing, and then painting. The figurines you have already seen, this one is one of them, my ringmaster, Freddy, my ringmaster, but I also made some more figurines. Uh, four of them to complete my uh, circus set, then some other ones. <laughs> I just uh, washed my hands after, not very well, as you will see, after uh, painting my uh, last figurine. And, okay, I will keep a secret. Six more figurines. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six figurines that I will not show you because I want to keep the secret for the new season. But mm, the majority of them are here on this uh, table here on my uh, support here. And I will show you. Uh, the results. Uh, I've already told you that the figurines will be the only thing I will print, I will 3D print. Otherwise, all other uh, things, or other buildings, all other crafts, I will build myself using my styrofoam, my beloved styrofoam, as always. So let's go with a panorama here. You already know all the set down there, all those figurines there. I've ended last update with the two lions. Okay, then I got some suggestions from you guys. So I added uh, four more figurines to the series. Knife thrower and assistant there. Okay, I will show you the, the assistant there and the knife thrower here, okay? It will be set like that, maybe like that, okay, and whoosh, with the balloons, okay, mm, very quickly done. Then the tiger, yes, also suggested by you guys, uh, and it will complete the lion tamer, okay, the circus tamer, like the, the tiger here, a little more aggressive than the lions because, oops, because in nature tigers are way more aggressive than lions, uh, especially female tigers uh, um, and not uh, male lions. And this will go there with the set of uh, the, uh, with the lion tamer inside one of the three ring uh, circles, of the three rings uh, inside the circles. Then, Elephants, yes, I know that I also miss elephants, but they are very big and they take so much space, especially a, a couple or, or a three of elephants. Uh, on top of them, uh, some um, some uh, acrobats, some someone parading with the uh, elephants. So I limited myself in printing and painting this one. Look. D. So this is, I will not tell you because you already uh, understood, uh, you already uh, figured out uh, the name of the little elephant. Then I made a blacksmith, okay. One of the biggest problem with the blacksmith uh, shop I have is that there is no action in front of it or inside of it. So I printed this one, this little Nordic with uh, red hair, red beard and 
a little rasta, yes, a, li a little rasta, but DZ with his anvil, with his hammer, that I will put in front of the blacksmith shop. Then, a trio of monks. Why? Uh, the only figurine from Lemax collection representing some monks are the, is this one, okay? The three singing monks. Very, very, very early uh, production from Lemax. This is still porcelain, okay? Yes, this is still porcelain. Uh, one of the oldest figurines I have. But it is too, uh, not too much for what I have in mind and what, for one part of the, for one section of the new project. So I've added three more monks. This one is really upset because it's only thinking, it's only proposed, it's only proposed is to drink beer. This one is uh, the darkest one. Okay. I've already told you, steampunk, yes, I will go there, not entirely, guys, I've decided not entirely, but some starting of a steampunk village. Uh, I will not tell uh, every secret of the new village right now. Then, I've just finished painting and applying some gloss, uh, an organ grinder, guys, uh, let me just put it right there. Okay, an organ grinder with the monkey. And yes, guys, I've modeled this one, the monkey, uh, following Abu, the monkey from uh, Aladdin, the Disney movie. And this is uh, an old uh, organ grinder. It was very common in, uh, in Victorian era. And there is no one has ever thought about having a an organ grinder to their collection. Not Lemax, not Department 56, no one. So I wanted a, an organ grinder and this is my latest, latest uh, production. Okay, I modeled it, I just finished last week modeling it and uh, yesterday I started painting and today I finished painting and applying. I know this isn't the perfect ad because Something needs to be strange when I'm when it is time to talk about a uh, steampunk, a uh, minimum steampunk Christmas village, and the hat there is Indiana Jones hat. Okay, those are the figurines I've finished. And guys, the scale I've tried to respect this the Lemax scale. Okay, they are almost the same scale. Okay, then then one of the secrets will be the replacement for Sister Sarah. You know that all along last season from part two to last part of my 2021 series, I had Sister Sarah with me, <laughs> traveling all over the layout, uh, a globetrotter nun. I have changed it. I have already done the new companion. Okay, I'm not a Doctor Who, I know, but let me call it the new companion that will accompany me through all the season. Then, you certainly remember this little baluster there that was uh, one of the main point of my uh, double uh, stairs, my twin stair. And this is done using a couple of uh, uh, of uh, tax there, okay? So let's go. But you already know it. Because I tend to, I tend, sorry, to improve myself every year, I've searched, I've tried to find some new, th some new design, etc. But I just received yesterday and the materials I will be using to do some new type of baluster for my new new uh, village okay maybe i will show you now a quick very quick preview right now guys here it comes okay that was a very quick not revealing maybe you have just posted the uh, video and uh, you have observed it in some more with some more 
accuracy, but it's not revealing anything. <laughs> okay, uh, if you are wondering what are those two figurines, one is for the new harbor, and let's say that. The other one is a very big figurine. All those figurines here have been printed. I printed them using a resin 3D printer. But the biggest one wasn't suitable for the resin printer, so I printed it using the and the tree, the FDM printer arrived there, okay? But it, it, it's a giant figurine and it will be the main focus of one of the four section that will be my theme for the 2022 project. <laughs> okay, not entirely true. I will not add precisely four section, four theme at the section, but at least one will be a real section and the other three will uh, remind uh, Phil Rouge a uh, common theme. And uh, yes, little complicated that this here, uh, I will surely not have enough space. I will try to figure it out some something new. But one, one thing is for sure, I will try to go with some, uh, with a little of steampunk. And guys, let me show you right now what was uh, a Victorian era town, a Victorian era village. Not all that fun, beautiful, uh, clean, as has been depicted by Department 56, Lemax, Limax, or any. It was very dark. So, of course, I will be using all the buildings or the majority of the buildings I have for the new uh, village, but I will also add something a little darker, a little steampunk, because it was dark. Victorian era was very dark, was absolutely dark, was absolutely um, sometimes uh, full of violence, okay? I will not go with some violent scenes, but uh, it's not that I will need to have always a smiles and Merry Christmas to everyone. Oh, I wanted to add some more realistic scenes and some strange scenes. Okay, let me close here as always. Let me just go there and I will, oops, 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 I will go uh, maybe there. Okay, I'm here guys as always. Okay, let me uh, see, yes, I'm here. Off my glasses, um, <laughs> very big amount of work, guys. Um, 15 of May, <laughs> just one and a half months, because as always, I will start my new season the first days, maybe the first um, Sunday, I will post the, my a new, my first part of the new season, uh, the first Sunday of July, the first, yes, the first Sunday of July, even if it, if it is some days before the 7th of July, normally I start between the 4th or the 7th of July, anyway, the first Sunday of July, the new 2022 season will finally start, I have to makes uh, one more, at least one more video before the new season. I know the last uh, two minutes have been very confusing. And... Um, but I, I don't uh, have to work all those hours anymore, so I will be able to focus on what really matters, the scenes I will be adding. So guys, as always, no, I will not <laughs> tell you See you next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye, everyone.